Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Brian Shields. I want to get to the first real strong tropical wave of the season. We've had some, of course, bring rain to the Caribbean. We've been dealing with that now around Trinidad and Tobago with the flooding. But as far as what could develop, this is the first one that may develop this season, and it is very early for this. You see here, zoom down, coast of Africa, this wave coming off. And Several models are latching onto at least some development out of this. Very unusual for this time of year. Usually this time of year, yes, you get the tropical waves that come off, but we don't look out here usually until later in July and August. There's a lot of wind shear out here. So I wanna show you the models, the European model. I wanna to get to the wind shear and the dust, all the factors that play into this. Now, this is the American model. Here's the Caribbean, Atlantic, Bermuda here, Barbados, St. Lucia right here to kind of set the stage, Puerto Rico here. You can see by the time we get into the end of the week, look at that blob of rain not organized and we've seen this this time of year but usually they've been falling apart over the last couple weeks which is what we generally expect but look what happens as we get deeper into the weekend this is by sunday you see this here still this cluster of rain and storms hanging together and there is a window for it to actually develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm mainly because of those water temps i'll talk about that but then you see here pulling forward again still this cluster of rain and storms this is by tuesday of next week still hanging together and what's catching my eye as well also some strong tropical waves back behind it kind of odd to see this this time of year but look what happens by next thursday now i want to caution this is going to change next thursday you can see that cluster of rain and storms approaching the Caribbean. But again, as we get down the road, that is way down the road. I do expect some changes, but here's the European model. Gulf of Mexico here, Caribbean here. Here's the coast of Africa. And you see that cluster of rain that comes off, taking you out in time. This is by the end of the week. And this is why it has my interest. Both the American model and this, the European model, has been kind of at least holding this wave together with a lot of rain. And then as we go out in time, this is as we work our way into the weekend. Look how this kind of stays together. If not spins up, you see it right there. So here's the Caribbean here, Eastern Caribbean here. You see that little area of low pressure that may try to develop high pressure to the north. So again, that's staying up there. So this will just continue to work to the west. By the time we get into Monday, still hanging together and then taking it down the road deeper into next week. Once again, by Thursday of next week, just like the GFS American model, the same thing. A little spin somewhere in here with lots of rain. So at the least, a higher chance of rain approaching the Caribbean, but the potential of some sort of a tropical depression or storm can't be ruled out. This is as we get into next weekend. So again, a week and a half from now, we know this is going to change together. I'll be tracking that for you. Again, we don't know where things are going to go till they actually develop further and we go out in time a little bit more so, but you see this cluster of rain here definitely has my interest. Not for anything crazy. Again, this is not making this a hurricane at this point or anything like that. I want to caution that. A lot of anxiety as we go through the season. We are going to be doing this a lot, a lot of waves coming off, but it is unusual to have something out there this time of year. So again, here's the Caribbean, here's the Gulf of Mexico, Florida, Bahamas, Cuba, Haiti, uh, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Belize back here, just to kind of set the uh, uh, map for you. There's the coast of Africa. These water temperatures are way warmer than normal. Some of these water temperatures where this wave is going are close to 29 almost 30 degrees cel uh, Celsius. That's similar to what we have in the bath water in the Western Caribbean now. 29 degrees, again, we're getting close to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That is very unusual to be in the upper 80s, close to 90, way out there this time of year. Now, this is against average. So this is not really water temperatures. I should have had that banner a little bit different. Uh, this, I should say, versus average. Now, where you're seeing simply this kind of red shading, and let me zoom down for you. This is where this tropical wave is gonna go over. Where we have this red shading or orange shading on your map, that means we're running above average. So it just shows you how kind of unusual it is. And that is what I was taught. I've been talking about this for weeks and actually months since I put out my seasonal forecast for March. And you could go back and look at it with an El Nino season. There's been a lot of chatter about a quiet hurricane season, but this here is more of my concern that it could at least balance that out with such warm water temperatures. It may balance out some of the impacts, some of the effects 
of an El Nino season. Now, getting down the road, what plays against this, which would be a good thing. We, we could use the rain in the Northeastern Caribbean for sure. Nobody wants a hurricane or anything like that. This here, it's shown a lot of wind shear. Again, coast of Africa there, across the open waters of the Atlantic, even as this wave were to approach. Here's the Caribbean right back through here. This here is wind shear, this kind of red shading. That doesn't typically allow things to develop when you have this color of red here. Those are very strong winds in the opposite direction above our heads uh, where the storm's trying to develop. It just kind of knocks off the thunderstorm tops which is a good thing. We like a lot of wind shear as we go through the uh, season. So again, this would play against development. But you see here, getting down the road, I wanna look at the dust. Dust also could play against development. That creates a very dry atmosphere. But what's interesting on this map, this is, let me get the time right. This is, I worked this out until next Thursday. So yeah, this is next, uh, actually next Tuesday morning. So as we get into the middle of next week, a surge of dust out there. But what's interesting here is, see this little notch right in here? It is showing that spin. Sometimes systems can't develop even with a lot of dust around and fight it off. So we'll wait and see on that. But that did grab my interest. When I first saw this map, I'm like, hey, there is a ton of dust out there. There's going to be wind shear. I don't expect development, but both models, both major models and a few other ones, and just seeing this kind of latching on to, hey, maybe this thing kind of fights off some of the dust and some of the hostile conditions. So, okay, what does this mean? Down the road, just a spot to watch. I wanna, I wanna stress that. I can't stress this enough. I don't root for storms. I've lived through them. I've seen the devastation they, they cause. So I don't want those as we go through the season, but I know the importance of tracking them. And that's why I do this channel. So again, we've got a long season ahead. We've already had tons of tropical waves coming off. They just haven't been super strong. This is a little unusual that something may try to spin up out there. But at this point, we're just monitoring it. Really anywhere from Trinidad, Tobago to the north. Simply put, Eastern Caribbean, we're just monitoring. I'm hopeful that maybe this turns into good news. I was talking in the previous video about how two to three weeks from now, uh, there could be kind of a surge of moisture in the Northeastern Caribbean. This may help kind of bring that in a little bit sooner because we've been dealing with water restrictions here. We've been dealing with the rolling black uh, blackouts here uh, with the uh, power having to go out for a time. It has been so, so hot. So again, just monitoring. We're going to do this together all season long. This is how it goes. Now, in June, usually there's not a whole lot of activity. Most of the activity in the season, August, September, and October, those three months combined for about 85% of all named storms. But we're about to get into July, not too far away from that. Could get a couple named storms out there. And again, those water temperatures, definitely something I'm watching. So we did have Arlene spin up last weekend briefly in the Gulf of Mexico. So if we do get our, when we do get our next name system, the next name on the list is Brett, Cindy, Don, Frank, uh, Emily, Franklin, and Gert after that. All right, let me uh, pull forward, just kind of set the stage for this hurricane season. January, there was an unnamed system out there. The hurricane uh, center, uh, they went back and looked at it and say, hey, that system we had uh, that approached Canada back in January was actually a subtropical storm. Kind of should have got a name, but they're just going to leave it as is. So there was an unnamed storm in January. Last week, as I mentioned, Tropical Storm Arlene. So there's actually been two systems already this year. Stronger waves are going to continue to come, which could be good because, again, some spots need some rain. But that also means the possibility of spin up. And again, I'm watching those obstacles for development. I guess that would be a good thing, though. Again, I'm watching that dust. And there's a lot of wind shear. On the flip side, very warm, uh, very, very warm water out there. So again, a couple things against it. Uh, a couple things for development. So a wait and see. Hurricane season goes through November, so plenty to watch. But this one has my interest. It's kind of the first long track uh, area that I'll be watching off the coast of Africa. So we'll watch it together as it comes up off. Just monitoring. Early heads up things to watch out there. I will do my best to keep you posted. Thank you for being part of this weather community. Hope you have a good day ahead.